What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. So you're going to have to bear with me a little bit today because I'm not feeling particularly well. So I might be spluttering and coughing a bit. My bad. But that's not going to stop me from coming at you with some pretty crazy shark content today. So don't you worry about that. Today we're going to be having a look at a clip from this year's Shark Week and surprise, surprise, it's not a very good one. <laughs> Every year it's really important that we praise Shark Week for the good programs that they release and also at the same time criticize them for the not so good ones. And in my opinion today, this one is not a very good one. The show was called Great White Open Ocean and features Jimmy Partington and his near miss encounter with a great white shark. Jimmy has featured on Shark Week pretty regularly down the years and has been described as a tourism operator, photographer, researcher and shark expert on IMDb. I think the term researcher has been used pretty loosely there as Jimmy has exactly zero scientific publications in the literature on sharks. At least not one that I could find anyway. I don't deny that Jimmy probably has a ton of in-water hours with these animals and does know them fairly well. But he's another one of these Shark Week experts that doesn't actually write any literature on these sharks to help further our understanding of them. He's basically a guy that knows grabs white sharks from what I can see online. Anyway, Great White Open Ocean follows Jimmy's story after an incident that occurred all the way back in 2020. And that incident is exactly what we're going to have a look at today. He basically gets in a clear polycarbonate box in open open ocean with a great white shark and the whole thing is just a shit show from start to finish. So I'm going to watch the clip with you now and try and talk you through what I think is going on. Right, let's have a look at the video. Okay, so here we can see Jimmy in that polycarbonate box that I was just telling you about. Now, straight off the bat, why they've decided to put him in this box, I will never ever know. Great white sharks are incredibly powerful animals and the bigger ones can do some major, major damage to aluminium cages, let alone polycarbonate. He literally might as well have been in a cardboard box. <laughs> So we start to see the shark showing a little bit of interest in Jimmy here, although it's definitely being very cautious to start with. And we know that it's being cautious because it's approaching Jimmy from behind and nudging the end of the box where his feet are. Now, sharks are sneaky little buggers and like most apex predators, often will approach something from behind because it's safer for them to do that. I think it's pretty cool though that that's what we're seeing here from the get-go, that shark approaching Jimmy from behind. And then we start seeing the shark getting a bit more fired up here as it starts to bump the box a little bit harder each time. So this is the shark slowly starting to get a little bit more comfortable with what the box is and what it's made of. With each bump, that shark is processing the information about the box and basically testing it out. Is this something that can hurt me? Is this something that I can feed on? All of these different things are being processed every time the shark feels that box. But at the same time, these are all warning signs. This shark is saying, whatever you are, I don't really like you in my personal space, so I'm politely letting you know to back off. This is where the crew and Jimmy should be realizing it's no longer safe to be in the water. That shark has given given several warning signs to them and they've just flat out ignored every one. I think this bump here is the main one though. This is the final one where you really need to get out of the water. There was a very deliberate speed up towards the box and then a big nudge from the snout of the shark. And that's the shark's final test run before doing what it's about to do. I think you guys probably know where this is about to go. So Jimmy lifts his head out of the water to have a brief conversation with the people back on the boat and he's taking his eyes off the shark again just for a moment but it's enough time for that shark to come charging upwards right towards Jimmy and this happens. Jesus Christ. The shark basically splinters the box into tiny little pieces. That is how powerful these animals are. Then after shattering the cage, the shark has a bit of a chomp on some of the polycarbonate before disappearing out of view. And then we get these shots of Jimmy scrambling around on top of the box trying to get out of the water. I do think here it's edited in a way to make you think that Jimmy is an absolute goner, but you can see the shark is actually nowhere near him as he's flailing around or as he's trying to swim back to the boat. There's no doubt this would still really shit you up though, so I'm not surprised that Jimmy reacted in the way that he did. But that shark there has had no interest in coming back for Jimmy as soon as he's ended up in the water. Like, it's had ample opportunity to quickly circle back round and come in for another pass, but it hasn't. And that's because I'm not entirely convinced that the shark was out to get Jimmy. It was actually just a bit annoyed at the polycarbonate box. I know to some of you that's going to sound like absolute rubbish and I wouldn't blame you for thinking that it was out to get Jimmy. Because to be fair, it does look like as it's coming up through the water, it's gunning straight for it. Obviously, we're never going to know exactly what was going through that particular shark's mind at the time of the incident, but I think that was more of a ram against the box than a predation event. Loads of shark species, particularly great whites, are territorial and will aggressively defend their territory against anything that they perceive to be a threat. But I was thinking about this when I first watched the clip and I was thinking to myself, 
what is the shark defending here? Why has it suddenly become so territorial? So I figured I needed to watch the whole documentary of Great White Open Ocean and not just the three minute clip that's gone viral everywhere. And it was after watching the longer sequence that a key bit of information that was previously missing came to life. It turned out these guys are filming this entire sequence next to a whale carcass. So they parked the boat up overnight right next to this whale carcass. And then the next day, a single white shark shows up. So it was at that point I started to realize what was it that the shark was defending and why did it become suddenly very territorial? It was defending the whale carcass. The shark was clearly not happy about the polycarbonate box and Jimmy being anywhere near a potential prey source in that whale carcass and in the clearest of terms told them to back off. There is no way that that particular shark takes a look at the whale carcass, probably one of the most nutritious and free easy meals that a shark could ever get and decide to go for Jimmy in a polycarbonate box instead. It just doesn't make sense that this would be a predation event. To me, it makes way more sense for it to be a territoriality display, and that's backed up by the fact the shark didn't actually come back after it broke the box and sent a hapless Jimmy flailing through the water. But all round, this was a major, major stupid idea from the shark weed producers. How they have ever let him get in that box, I will never know. And someone definitely needs to be fired for that. You really don't wanna be in the water next to a whale carcass when there's white sharks around. It's not the smartest thing to do. Then on top of that, in the longer sequence, you can see Jimmy tapping on the side of the polycarbonate box and that's gonna be sending vibrations through the water towards that shark. No wonder it wound it up. I'm really not surprised that that shark has come in and smashed that box to smithereens. <laughs> It's not the first time Shark Week has done stupid stunts involving sharks though, and sadly it seems to be becoming a Shark Week regular. We had the Jackass Boys a couple of years ago doing stupid stunts with Caribbean reef sharks, and of course Poopies ended up getting bitten. I've just never understood why they have to do these daredevil type shows on Shark Week. They have so many other cool things they could do. Sharks are insanely awesome animals and do amazing things on camera. You don't need to stick guys in clear see-through boxes to try and get content from them. Sharks will give you good content normally. Jimmy's story after this incident is actually a pretty sad one though. The general premise of the show after the box smashing was that Jimmy was pretty traumatized after the incident and I'm not surprised about that at all. But then they followed his journey and his quest to try and get back in the water with great white sharks and that was the only thing that was gonna help him deal with the trauma of it. Anyway, he does eventually get back in the water with them, albeit this time not in a stupid polycarbonate box. <laughs> he has a pretty cathartic experience with the white sharks, but sadly, a few days into filming the expedition, he suffers a massive stroke and has to be airlifted to hospital. Watching the end of Great White Open Ocean is actually awfully sad to see because you see this man who was previously incredibly charismatic charismatic on camera turn into a man who is having to learn how to talk again. It really is truly heartbreaking. There's no way to know for sure whether the trauma of the first incident had a role to play in Jimmy's stroke, but these are massive things for your brain to have to deal with, so I wouldn't say that it was impossible. All I can say is that I do hope Jimmy continues his recovery and one day does get to go back out with great white sharks. And I also really hope that Shark Week stop doing these stupid stunts and putting people's lives at risk. These are apex predators that aren't to be messed around with and of all the companies that I would hope would know that, Shark Week would be one of them. So what do you make of this incident then, guys? Another stupid Shark Week stunt? Do you reckon it was a predation event on Jimmy or are you backing me with a territoriality viewpoint? I wanna hear all your thoughts in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. It really helps out the channel every time you click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel by clicking that big red subscribe button below. I can see just under half of you aren't subscribed to Shark Bites yet. So if you wanna help out the channel, click that big red button where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.